All right, so let's get into this now. I know you may be confused. How do I know that? Because I'm confused as well. At least I was a bit confused. I'm still confused, but I'm a less confused now than I was before. There's a lot of information being thrown around about this whole pyramid situation and the new discoveries and findings that have been coming out. And I know we all want to know the same things. Like, is this real? Is it a hoax? You know, where's where's this data coming from? Who owes Graham Hancock an apology? Do you really want to apologize? Are you sure? Y yes, absolutely. <sighs> Very well. If you want to apologize, I will accept. Oh, thank you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. Brian, get a picture of Mr. Marsh apologizing. Ready to go, sir. Kiss it. Huh? Apologize. Kiss it. And in this video, um, we're going to clear that up. I found some information and some videos that I'm going to put in the description for you guys to watch to get answers in more detail. But in this video, I'm going to be summarizing kind of what I know and hopefully clear up some confusion for you guys. And we're also going to talk about what this whole, you know, what all these discoveries actually mean in terms of, you know, how crazy it could actually be. So, first of all, what's been going on? So, if you've seen TikTok or YouTube recently, you've probably seen this whole thing about, you know, finding more structures underneath the pyramids and within the pyramids themselves as well, right? And there's a lot of confusion because people keep referencing this article from 2022, um, and it was by a guy, Filippo, some guy called Filippo and another guy called Corrado, his name's on the paper, right? I'll, I'll leave the link to the article in the description. But essentially they're confusing this 2022 paper with some other findings on the uh, Khafre pyramid, which is which they're talking about now all on TikTok and stuff like that. So first of all, let's clear this up then. The 2022 paper is still valid stuff, right? It's still pretty amazing stuff, but that paper was on the Great Pyramid, which is, you know, the, the biggest pyramid, right? The new data that they're bringing out now is on the Khafre Pyramid, which is the second biggest pyramid, okay? So this this is where I was getting a bit confused. I'm thinking, what what's going on? What, what pyramid are they actually talking about? Because the paper was referencing the Great Pyramid, but then some of the videos and stuff are referencing this second biggest pyramid, right? So all this data is on, yeah, the second biggest pyramid. Now, you're also hearing that they're talking about some conference that is going on, right? What is this conference? Now, I found a video, right, on YouTube, which I will link in the description because it helps clear this up a lot. But it's of someone who is, you know, connected to Filippo, a guy called Trevor, and he has a bit more information on what this conference is and stuff. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But just to summarize, essentially, very soon, apparently, they're going to be doing a four hour video like presentation on the findings of the um Khafre pyramid right on what they the structures they found on within that pyramid and hopefully there they're going to clear up everything about the technology you know what technology was used and how it actually works and if it's valid or not and they're going to also go into more details about the findings right so apparently the plan is that they are going to scan they want to scan the whole Giza plateau so not just the pyramids that we've seen so far they want to scan everything and that might take up to a year for them to do right so we've got a lot of stuff to look forward to okay but let's summarize the main things that they were talking about or the main discoveries right so first of all within the Khafre pyramid right there are apparently five other chambers at the ground level which haven't been seen before right so five other chambers that they are discovering and on top of this, there are also so cylindrical structures which go, you know, from the base of the pyramids down 640 meters, right? Six around about 640 meters, and there's eight of these cylindrical structures, and I think four of them go into one cube-like structure, and the other four go into another cube-like structure. I'll put some pictures up on the screen for you to see, but essentially, this is crazy. So 640 meters is huge if you take a 400 meter track right you stretch that out and then you add another 200 meters so you add half the 400 meter track and a little bit more there's eight of these things going down and apparently they are also hollow they're not fully you know they're not filled in they are actually hollow cylindrical uh, structures and 
they have a spiral structure going around them which looks kind of like a coil some people are saying it's a staircase we don't know but they have all these you know intricate structures built onto them so this is amazing this is crazy stuff and it starts to make us think about you know everything we've been told about how these pyramids were built so what else though because it gets more crazy on top of this right they are saying there are two kilometers so far of interconnected tunnels underneath all this right so that's crazy so they're saying not this isn't just on the cafe pyramid they're saying this on all the other pyramids there are tunnels that you know connect to each other or connect to various places which we don't know yet so again crazy stuff to you know think that such an intricate structure is all under the sahara desert right because remember remember this is just the giza plateau that we're looking at Imagine how much stuff they could find under the desert itself, right? So that would be crazy. But I want to talk about some limitations of this because, you know, I guess people are skeptical. People are thinking it's a bit sketchy and it's hard to find information. So I want to talk about some limitations. And these are the sorts of things that I hope they would clear up in the actual conference. So, you know, we can see how valid this is. So... First of all, I'm going to leave another link in the description to a video where someone is talking about some of the, the sketchiness about this whole thing, just because I believe that you need to have a balanced mindset going into these things. And the guy does mention some good points. One of the points he mentions is on the 2022 paper, there are some, a few errors in there, which, you know, you would think would get peer reviewed before a paper gets published like that. But it's, it's things where they're saying the the pyramids were built from the majority of granite you know blocks which we know that's not correct they were built from limestone and they have some granite structures within there okay but there's other things like that which you can look into again as much as this looks a bit sketchy it's still not enough to say okay this whole thing is a hoax or whatever but i think it's good to just look into and be aware of but some other things that i want to talk about are the actual technology so they use a technology called synthetic aperture radar doppler tomography now this is apparently quite a new technology and i don't think it's been used a lot so people are are looking for you know proof they want to see is this technology actually valid and what i'm hoping in this presentation that they cover is they show that this technology actually can map out you know structures accurately how would they do that they would just have to show a known structure that we all know what's inside it and show data from this technology and the data has to show accurate you know mapping structures it has to show accuracies with the room for example let's take your house right you know what your house looks like so if someone uses this technology on your house and they map out all the rooms that are in your house and stuff like that to you know it doesn't have to be a hundred percent accurate but it has to be pretty similar there has to be some sort of tolerance which we can take then you can say, okay, this is valid, this is correct then. And then we can know that, okay, even if it's not 100% accurate, at least we'll know, okay, these structures have to be there underneath the pyramids. Because until someone goes and digs it up, we can't say unless we have proper, accurate results and reliable technology. So, again, we need validation on this. But some other things about the technology you could look at. I've been reading about it has a limited um, penetration depth. So when it comes to like really dense materials, apparently the technology is not that great at, you know, seeing through them or mapping inside them. And they're also saying the technology or the method relies on detecting micro movements induced by background seismic waves. So this also kind of means that any vibration that goes on under the ground or seismic activity could also interrupt the results. So I would like to see if they've, you know, taken readings more than once which you would expect them to right that's common sense you'd have to do multiple readings and then cross-reference them to make sure you're actually getting valid reason readings each time so hopefully this is what you know the presentation shows and then on top of that all these 3d models that we are seeing remember the 3d models are interpretations from the data so as cool as it all looks if that data is not correct then the 3d model is just aren't going to be correct also so again just just attacking this with like a, a balanced outlook and mindset i think everyone and what everyone is looking for is more information but 
what does this mean? Let's get into the fun part now. What does this mean? Because this stuff is crazy because we we have been taught so much, you know, especially in, I guess, the mainstream idea is that these things, you know, were built by, you know, pulling large stones, lifting large stones and stacking them on top of each other and all of this. And lots of us have been saying, you know, how was this possible? Like, especially when you look at the mathematics of the pyramids, the precision cuts of the stone, lots of us has been saying, how is this possible, you know, by, especially when we didn't have power tools and things like that back then, how did we build this? And to this day, we still aren't a hundred percent sure how these pyramid structures were built. So this is crazy. It could be something that, again, we all knew that these pyramids were very sophisticated and had, you know, hidden structures, hidden, hidden features within them. But this could really be the proof that we need, right? And on top of this, what I want to say is if this is what we're finding under the pyramids, then we've still got the whole Sahara Desert. So imagine what things you're going to find hidden under there, you know, because there was a whole, or we can assume there was a whole empire at the time when these pyramids were built. There was a whole empire. And the people in this empire would have had, you know, I guess access to maybe technology or knowledge that we just weren't aware of. So this is all going to be very interesting stuff to see. So what a crazy time to be alive. You know, I'm saying that in both a, a positive and negative way in the sense of we have loads of crazy discoveries coming out, but then there's also loads of crazy evil things going on in the world right now. So it's a balance, but what a crazy time it is to see things like this coming out and hopefully starting to get answers to questions that we've all had for so long. But if you're new here, this channel is focused around generational excellence, which is providing society or the future society with more knowledge, wisdom and opportunities than you did when you were growing up. And things like this, you know, actually getting out there, doing research, exploring and discovering things about Earth, about us and about where we came from. This is all for generational excellence. And I love to see this stuff and I'm excited to see where this goes. And hopefully once they bring out, you know, this full uh, press release or conference, whatever it is, I'll be making another video and hopefully have some more insights to share and update you guys on. But I hope that you guys are also just looking out for the conference yourself to see it for yourself and actually see if this thing is legit or not. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll bring an update whenever new information comes out and let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking. But I will see you in the next one.